Hey guys, it's me again. Today I'm working on a chicken feeder for my coop. I'm going to be using a three inch PVC pipe and I'm going to show you how I built it. Warning. I use sharp tools in this video that can hurt you if you aren't careful. If you are uncomfortable using power tools or sharp knives, please do not attempt to do what I do. Remember, safety is no accident. All right, so I've got a 10 foot long section of pipe here, and I just want to mark off three feet so that I can cut this section into three three foot sections. So I've rigged up a little clamp here on my table saw. And I'm going to be using a Sawzall to cut it off. I need a longer blade. After cutting the first piece, I'm now going to mark out two more pieces at 36 inches each and cut those as well. Okay, now I'm just going to use a razor knife here to clean up the edges a little bit. So what I've got is some slotted angle bracket here and I'm going to use this to mount the tubes to. So I'm just laying it out now to get some measurements and then I'm going to cut that. It looks like 12 and a quarter inches is going to give us adequate spacing there. And that falls right in line between two of the, two of the holes in this bracket. So I'm going to mark it there for 12 and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to come on the other side and pull the same measurement here and mark it here because I'm going to have two pieces, one at the top and one at the bottom.
then we've got our two pieces, 12 and a quarter inches each. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the pipes onto this bracket here. So I'm just gonna measure down four inches, put a mark. using a nail to mark a little indent to keep the drill bit from walking. All right, now I'm using a quarter inch drill bit and I'm gonna drill out these holes. Now we're gonna mount this onto the pipes. So I'm going to take a bolt in through there. In through there. And through here. I don't want to snug them all the way up yet. I just want to get it secure. All right, and now we're going to do the same thing on the other end. Measure up four inches again. You want to try and get these holes in as much of a line as possible. So before we snug it up, we want to make sure it's roughly square. Okay, we'll just do the same thing on the other side. got our three tubes put together and you can see that uh, there's the bar on the top and the bar across the bottom and that's what we're going to use to be able to hang this in the coop okay so the next step is to mount the Y's on the bottom of our tubes. 
So we're gonna take this, mount it like so. The next step is to cut some plugs out of three quarter inch plywood that we're gonna use in the bottom. I'm doing this to save money because the caps are about $3 a piece. If you wanna spend the extra money, you can go ahead and buy a cap or a plug to put in the bottom. I just happen to have some extra three quarter inch plywood lying around. So I'll build a couple of these plywood blanks. And then I'll just secure them in the bottom with screws. I did spend the extra money on the top because I wanted to be able to keep it watertight. Now that I've cut out my pieces with the table saw, I'm going to smooth the edges down to make them perfect circles using a belt sander. Okay, so now you can see our feeder system. I've got these plugs just in here loosely, but I will take, push them in like that, and then we'll secure them with a screw. You can see really well here how we flared it out so that it gives some room for multiple chickens to use the feeder at the same time. Okay, so now I've got a board right here that uh, I cut to length between these two supports. And I'm just gonna measure to make sure that the feeder fits where I want it to. Now that I have the board where I want it, I'm going to make some pre-drilled holes so that the board stays where I want it to be and it doesn't split the end of the 2x4 
when I screw into it. Then I'm going to secure it using 3 inch deck screws. Now we're going to repeat the same process for the bottom support. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is just take some screws and screw it in. I'm not gonna sink them all the way though, because I wanna be able to remove this. You can see now how the screws are in there and the rail is sitting supporting the weight of the tubes and to e remove this you just pick it up and off. So you can see I put some caps on here all I need to do is fill it up with food put the caps on and have some happy birds. This has been a tutorial on how to build a PVC pipe feeder. Come here, little man. Did you help daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up mark, and be sure to leave comments below. You can also check out some of my other videos and you can follow along on Instagram at Red Beard Homestead.